Hey guys, going on? Mike the Caveman Cuny here again from Paleo Problem Long Island and MikeTheCaveman.com. And today's question is, can my kids be too young for probiotics? I'm the caveman. And the answer is, absolutely not. The microbiome plays an essential role in long-term health, particularly with respect to immune system regulation. And where does the child's microbiome develop from? That's right, mom. After leaving the sterile environment of the womb, the baby is immediately exposed through the vaginal canal and through subsequent breastfeeding to the microbial world. And that's how it develops. In fact, the literature even indicates that those babies that are born by C-section and that do not receive adequate breastfeeding afterwards are more susceptible to allergies and autoimmune conditions. Conversely, the literature also indicates that supplementing those C-section babies with probiotics in the range of roughly 10,000 to 1 billion CFU or colony forming units, particularly of the strain Bifidobacterium lactis, can actually have a host of beneficial effects, including improved immune and gut maturation and function, improved microbial diversity, improved response to vaccinations, and decreases in pathological gastrointestinal symptoms such as diarrhea. Now, that vaccine part is particularly interesting because it helps to illustrate what may be a missing piece of the vaccine controversy puzzle. It helps to demonstrate the importance of a properly functioning gut microbiome in the efficacy of those vaccines. And it may even improve outcomes of allergy and autoimmune conditions subsequent to vaccination. Taking all this into account, it is definitely a good idea to focus on your child's gut. Now, when it comes time to introduce solid foods, I would definitely start including quality fermented foods. And I would also consider supplementing with a quality probiotic, something like, wait for it, Megaspore. And in the case of a child, I probably wouldn't go more than a quarter to a half of a capsule sprinkled either over their food or into one of their drinks. So your biggest takeaways are that no, it is never too young to start focusing on your child's gut. That microbiome is going to set up their life for health and an improperly functioning microbiome, no good. There is a wealth of evidence indicating that supplementing children, particularly if they were born by C-section and receive inadequate breastfeeding after birth, will see tremendous benefits from including probiotics into their diet. So when it comes time to introduce those solid foods, definitely look at the fermented foods and definitely consider adding in a quality probiotic, something like Megaspore. But if you want some more information on kids' topics or on the spores, take a look at these videos over here. Either way, you know what to do. Like and subscribe down below, share it with your friends, head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook, over on Paleo Problem Long Island, and of course, over at MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Get some bacteria in your kids. I'll see you tomorrow. Isn't a lot of hard data supporting its done here's name. I'm the kid. Let's summarize.